What is going on everybody? It is Fantastical Dragon coming to you with the second part of our single player mode of Mud Runner American Wilds. Uh, today we are finishing up Grizzly Creek. Uh, if you have not seen the first part, go ahead, click on it now. We were uh, getting used to everything in the single player mode. Today we are going to be continuing on and uh, going to be doing uh, the uh, the second part, the final part of this to hopefully get it all wrapped up. So we're going to go ahead and continue this map. And basically what's going on is that we need eight log points in each lumber mill for a total of 16 points in all so yep we just got our eight load points delivered let me just take a look at the map here again just to refresh ourselves so basically how it goes is that our lumber mills are down here uh, we've got eight of eight here still need eight more in this lumber mill right next beside it so what we need to do is that we need to go all the way to the log station, collect our logs, and then after uh, our points are, the, the block posts I should say, are closed, we literally have to go all the way around, all the way around the entire map to bring them back to the lumber mill yet once again. I need to check and see, I think we'll be able to do the bridge here too, maybe. Possibly, I hope so. Let me go ahead. I'm actually gonna go um, explore this bridge here real quick too, just to be sure. All right. So what I did is that I uh, kind of set our checkpoints eh, a little, you know, scarce here and there to basically go towards the bridge and see if it's actually doable. Maybe it'll help us to do our uh, job a little bit faster. Who knows? But uh, we'll see. And I guess since we're in the, uh, you know, the uh, smaller truck. We'll go ahead and use it uh, until we need to get more points and then uh, switch to the uh, the larger truck too as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get this party started. Alright, so on our way to check out the uh, the bridge uh, situation here. Hopefully we can get this done in a uh, fair amount of time. This, uh, this level is just so stinking long though too. Because I think uh, I think in the last episode I was using the log station that was like way out of uh, like the area, which is why it just it took me so darn long to do it. Um, but I'm hoping that if this bridge is open and that we can use it after we get our logs, it should technically it should take us a little bit faster. But I guess like I said, we'll go ahead and check and see so at least our fuel is looking good uh there seems to be no damage at all whatsoever so far <laughs> so that's a good thing but um yeah these roads are just so slick and just uh there's just no no traction on them at all whatsoever and we are coming up to some water here it's a pretty good mud puddle i forgot almost to uh turn my lights on there we go Let's go ahead and check and see what we can do through here. Come on, truck. Now, I can't use my winch because there aren't any uh, winch points either. I don't know where to get up onto here, though.
Here we go, there's a winch point. We'll go ahead and use that. Just kind of help us along a little bit here. There we go. Hoping that, uh, hoping that that did it. There we go, cool. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Gotta keep uh, trucking along here. I think we're coming up towards, yep, coming up towards the bridge here now. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's just a uh, looks like it's a normal bridge, and thank goodness for us, no uh, block posts are up either, which is just fantastical. See, so, yeah, basically the uh, the plan is to get to this log station, which is going to be a little bit ways up ahead. Let me check and see where we are. All right, so we're going to be taking a. Uh, all the way down and then we'll be taking a right to get a little bit off road to the log station and then we're just gonna basically be heading back the uh, back the same way to uh, to the lumber mill so sweet so the thing about this game is that everything takes time but it's actually time well spent you know driving and doing the logging you know I mean if you're into that sort of thing, I highly recommend this game. I mean, it is a, you know, a trucking game, a uh, pretty much an adventurous game, too, because it's not just, you know, logging, it's not just, uh, you know, carrying things. As we've seen, you know, in the challenges, too, uh, we have a lot of cool, um, that's our turn, a lot of cool uh, off-road uh, vehicles like uh, you know like it was the I don't know if it was a Jeep or you know that that little SUV that we had to use to get up the uh, the mountain way that was uh, that was a lot of fun it's just it's different you know a different variety which is uh, it's just really cool So this is more so of a uh, dirt road, and this smaller truck, unfortunately, as we saw in the last video, it is not meant for off-roading. I think we can still get away with it, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get away with it. Uh, see how that goes, and um, then we'll just load up the uh, the bigger truck uh, for the uh, the six points. This will be two points. Bigger truck will be six points. And that way we can have our uh, our full full lumber mill there. All right, so we got our three load points. Yeah, so it was three, not two. My bad. Um, and we'll go ahead and just uh, yeah, literally just be heading the uh, the same way in which we came, just because I know it's going to be the uh, the fastest route. I really hope we don't crash into my uh, bison there. There we go. All right, we are back on the road, back at it. This time a little bit uphill, but I think we can, uh, pretty sure that we can manage. I am very glad, uh, very thankful that this truck also has uh, the winch, though, too, as well. So that's always, always a good thing there. Uh, 
And we are back on the main road. There we go. Sweet. All right. Very good. Very good. You know, I like more so driving the trucks in third person than I do really do in first person. Just because if you look, the first person mode, it does not let me look down at all whatsoever. It doesn't let me look up or adjust that for, you know, any reason. I can look out left and right, obviously, too, but it's just, it's so weird. Like, right here, like, if I was coming up on this blind turn, I... Let me back up just a little bit. I don't know if I'm actually going to be going uh, left or right if I didn't take a look at the signs, you know, immediately. Or, you know, how big of a turn it actually is as I'm going down. So that's why I'm doing a lot of this in uh, third person mode. Just because it's uh, just a lot easier to see and uh, it's a little bit more fun too, actually, believe it or not. I've always liked driving in the third person, which is why I like, you know, Dirt 4 so much too as well, which is why I play it. Other games too, you know, in third person. But the uh, American Truck Simulator is the exception because they actually make it a lot uh, harder uh, for you to, uh, to play in third person than it actually is in first person. This one... It's much, much easier uh, to play in third. You know, it's like basically you know, the other way around. And I like uh, I like the Gran Turismo games though too because it's it's fun either way. It's like it gives you that level of play of either third person or first person, which you know it's just a fun game to race uh, in any outlook in any mode you might have here we go with the uh, the mud again too as well okay looks like we were supposed to stay on the uh, right coming in and I'm gonna need a tree there we go with our winch cool perfect there we go so yeah I mean once you get the hang of it and you get, uh, you know, like the handle of what to do, what not to do, you know your routes and everything. It, it becomes a really, you know, fun game just to, you know, be a logger and everything, so. And the morning fog is coming on in for us. That's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and just set up my checkpoints just to know that we're turning off there. There we go, all right, cool. Checkpoints are actually very, very uh, useful in this game, especially if you don't know where you are or where exactly you're going to need to uh, turn. It's a little slip and slidey right there. Alright, coming up towards our turn here. Let me go ahead and start turning on in. And next stop is Lumber Mill, straight on up ahead. So yeah, very nice, very cool. Uh, we did find a much faster uh, route, which is <laughs> always a good thing. And uh, now for this uh, load coming up, we are going to be using that huge beast that is right beside me here. And we're good to unload. Sweet. Very good. Let me go ahead and park this out of the way here. Uh, for our next uh, our next load here that we're going to do with our bigger truck. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead take a trip in the, uh, the Western Star here. And same thing too, I'm just going to be setting a uh, couple... Uh, destinations here just so I know which direction to go and everything where the bridge is that we need to go off on there we go all right cool
All right, let's go ahead and get this baby into motion. There we go. All right, got our big rig out and about. Getting ready for a big haul of logs here. It's our final finale of our log hauling days. For Grizzly Creek, that is. Much more to come. Obviously, you know. And this is going to be a, uh, you know, much slower of a uh, route. Much slower of a trip, because obviously we are going to be hauling with a uh, much larger truck and also a much larger haul in itself too as well. Hopefully we won't run off the road, but <laughs> I guess we'll see. Here we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Here it comes. I do believe this is going to be the, uh, the turn up here for us. All right, here we go with the uh, with the mud. We gotta stick on the right again. There we go. We're just basically just gonna ram right on through it. Here we go. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Good job, guys. It's nice out here, though, too, the scenery with all the trees and the, uh, just the hills and everything to climb. They really do a good job with the landscape on this game. They really do. Here we go with our turn here. Just gonna kind of go for it here. There we go. Keep going right on over the bridge here too as well. And our truck is definitely slipping here. I'm just very, very glad that there is no traffic out or anything. Especially in these, you know, this wilderness and everything. I wouldn't expect there to be much traffic. But you never know. And I know that they like to start you off easy, though, too, I'm sure. Later on, we're going to be getting into some much more complicated challenges, everything like that. So, something to look forward to, which is always a good thing in a game. Go up over this hill, and I think our, uh... Turn should be coming up here soon. Yep, it's right here actually. Let's go ahead, use that momentum. Bringing on us down. There we go. Alright, cool. We don't need the uh, the winch so much uh, for this one here. It's actually doing a pretty good job so far, actually. All right, so we got our... Uh, Six uh, load points of lumber here with a little bit of, uh, of work uh, getting into the, uh, the parking 
area here, but uh, we managed, we finally did it, so we're gonna go ahead and be on the way. I'm gonna go ahead and set my, uh, my points here real quick too as well, just to be sure. There we go. All right, so we're ready to go ahead, get on our way here. Our fuel is still looking good, so I'm pretty sure we'll have enough fuel to uh, to get back there and uh, call this mission complete. So, hoping so anyway. Uh, fingers crossed. See, I'm still very much so on the fence of this game. I, I really like the game. I think it's a great game. But I think, you know, just like any other games, it has its, you know, faults and it has its, you know, down points, of course. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, this game has many, you know, down points. Is it fun to play? Yeah, I mean, if it's your play style to do, you know, the trucking uh, simulation and also logging too as well, you know, this is definitely for you. Um, it's just, it's fun, it's interactive, and, uh, you know, you get to know... Uh, you know, each, uh, each tool, each vehicle, how to control it, how to maneuver it, which is always a good thing. It's just, it's quite the, the learning curve, uh, too as well, but, you know, you get there, so. But, uh, it just not at all a bad game. It just, uh, it could use some work in some aspects. But, like I said, you know, that's, you know, that's every game that we play, too, so. Alright, there we go, perfect. All right, good to go. There we are. Back up on the uh, the main roads here. So, like I said, this will be our last uh, haul here, our last uh, log points that we actually need. I'm glad that we'll be, uh, well, hopefully, we'll be finishing uh, during daylight hours. Because I know with the uh, the last video, um, we did a lot of our runs at uh, at night too. So. That was a uh, <laughs> that was quite interesting, but uh, this one was uh, it was very smooth. Um, you know, like I said before, once you know how everything works, how your vehicles work, and you know uh, the locations too, where everything is, you get more used to it. You get a lot, uh, you know, a lot more comfortable uh, with it and with driving too, for that matter. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just I enjoy the game. I really enjoy the uh, the challenge because after you learn something new, it's like applying that, and you have to remember to apply it too as well. I think my biggest uh, my biggest uh, weakness in this game is definitely uh, backing up my trailer, trying to get it aligned uh, to pick up uh, logs, and uh, I'm just I'm not used to that yet. But you know, it's just something to uh, to work on, get more used to. And it's it's definitely a lot more difficult in the mud here on Mud Runners than it is on American uh, Truck Simulator, because as I touched on before in an earlier video, it's like your your tires sometimes get stuck, you know, in the mud as they do in real life, uh, as you're backing up, and it just kind of throws you off, because you think that you need to apply, you know, this much turn on your steering wheel and it comes to find out that you don't here comes the uh, the other mud mud hole we got this there we go this thing just goes through everything doesn't it it's gonna go ahead and use our winch just for a little bit here Just for a little bit more speed, there we go. I don't want to, uh, I really don't want to tip this over on the, <laughs> on the last load here, oh my goodness. That would be absolutely terrible.
flying through this corner. Woo! There we go. Oh. Oh, we went a little too fast there. That's alright. And we take about half of the uh, the damage with the truck and the uh, trailer too. But I tried to uh, drift there and just didn't work out, but yeah, that's alright. I'm more so laid back because uh, it's kind of what happens when you get used to, uh, used to this game. You just get more laid back and more comfortable with it. It's actually a good feeling. There we go. Going to be keeping our left here. Come on, baby. You can do it. There we go. And so, yeah, I think that's, uh, that is going to about do it, guys. We did it. Sweet. There's a finish line right there. Man. Uh, definitely took us long enough. Why are both lumber mills open? I don't know. I thought that once we filled up one, that the other one would have, uh... Because I am not... Hold up just a second. I want to be sure that we have the right lumber mill. So this is the one that we're at. So yes, we need to drop it off here, not there. Got it. So yeah, I think we're I think we're good. We did it, guys. We officially defeated Grizzly Creek. Sweet, awesome. Definitely took us a longer time than I had thought, but uh, we did it. We completed it. That's pretty much all that matters to me, which is awesome. Very good. Good job, guys. It says new maps and vehicles are unlocked. That's sweet. That is awesome. I'll be checking to see which ones we unlocked in the next video. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, definitely follow, like, subscribe. It's been an adventure. Thank you for sharing the adventure. It is Fantastical Dragon. I am out.